are we prepared to accept the evidence when it contradicts our expectations? Did you know that in just the last few years, the number of confirmed interstellar visitors to our solar system has in fact tripled? This isn't just a statistic, it's a paradigm shift. And right now, something truly extraordinary is happening deep in the black silence between Mars and Jupiter. The mysterious interstellar visitor known as 3i divided by Atlas is heating up rapidly, violently, and inexplicably. NASA scientists report its temperature has risen far beyond anything predicted, glowing in wavelengths no conventional comet or asteroid should. Um, it is as if something inside 3i divided by Atlas has suddenly awakened or is being ignited by a force we do not yet understand. In late July, astronomers at the Atlas Observatory in Chile spotted a faint green object moving through the void, small, fast, and unfamiliar. It was cataloged as 3i divided by Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor in human history. Like its predecessors, Oumuamua and Borisov, it was not born in our solar system. It came from somewhere else, somewhere we cannot even point to on the map of the stars. At first, the scientific establishment defaulted to the familiar. They thought it was just another cosmic drifter, a frozen rock wrapped in dust and ice, quietly passing through our solar system before vanishing into the dark again. This is the safe explanation, the one that requires no new thinking. But within weeks, telescopes across the world began reporting something strange. Three, I divided by Atlas, was not behaving like any known comet. Its outer layers were warming, not from the sun, but from within. When the James Webb Space Telescope locked onto it, the data shocked even the most seasoned astronomers. The heat was not distributed evenly. It was concentrated in a specific region, a, a thermal hotspot expanding across the surface like a spreading fire, and it was not following any natural pattern of sublimation or reflection. This is a critical point. A simple inert comet warms predictably as it nears the sun. The ice turns to gas, sublimates, from the outside. Three, I divided by Atlas, is doing the opposite. It is heating from a localized internal source. Uh, NASA's infrared data showed that 3i divided by Atlas was radiating energy in precise bursts, rhythmic, almost timed, as though something beneath its icy crust was trying to escape. At first, scientists proposed the usual simple explanations. Perhaps it contained unusually volatile materials, exotic ices that vaporized at low temperatures, releasing heat. But that theory fell apart quickly. The heat output was far too strong. We are talking about gigawatts of energy that simple sublimation cannot account for. Uh, 3i divided by Atlas was warming faster than sunlight alone could explain. Then another possibility arose, tidal friction. Perhaps the object was being stretched by gravitational forces as it passed near Mars's orbit. But again, the math did not fit. The gravitational stresses were far too weak to generate such energy. This is a common pattern. Uh, when confronted with an anomaly, the reflex is to force it into a known box. Both boxes, sublimation and tidal friction, are broken. So what is really happening? That is the question haunting observatories across the globe tonight, because this is not just about a warm rock in space. Uh, it is about an observation that challenges the very rules of physics we thought we understood. When NASA's Deep Space Network scanned 3 I divided by Atlas with radar, they found the temperature fluctuations were not random. They followed a repeating pulse roughly every 36 minutes. The surface flared with heat, then dimmed again. The frequency was so regular that some compared it to a heartbeat. Others noticed that the pulse grew slightly stronger every cycle as if whatever is inside is building momentum, could it be a chain reaction, a chemical cascade igniting layer by layer beneath its crust, or something else entirely? Is something technological, mechanical, even intentional? We do not know yet. 
but the implications are stunning. Let's pause here and remember what we are really seeing. A piece of matter that has traveled for millions, maybe billions of years through interstellar space, untouched, unaltered until now. And suddenly in our cosmic backyard, it begins to glow, to heat, to pulse, almost as if its long journey was leading to this precise moment. Harvard astrophysicists, my colleagues and I, have already begun to compare this phenomenon to the thermal behavior of Oumuamua, that first interstellar visitor detected in 2017. Um, you might recall that it too exhibited mysterious acceleration as if being propelled by an invisible force. Some theorized it was powered by sublimating hydrogen ice, a theory invented ad hoc to explain away the anomaly. Others, myself included, whispered a more daring idea that it might be an artificial object, a derelict probe from another civilization. Now, eight years later, here we are again, faced with a new visitor and the same impossible question. Could three, I divided by Atlas, be something more than just rock and ice? At the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, thermal models have been pushed to their limits. Using Webb and Hubble data, NASA simulated the object's internal structure. They discovered that beneath the surface, the heat source is not random. It is localized, spreading outward in a near circular pattern, like concentric ripples in a pond. If this were simply ice evaporating, the heat would dissipate. But here, it grows stronger. The energy appears to be self-sustaining. This is not natural entropy. It is a focused process. And that is the moment when one scientist reportedly ask a chilling question in a closed door meeting. What if it's not heating up because of us? What if it's waking up because of where it is? Imagine that. Imagine an object traveling across the interstellar gulf for ages, dormant and silent, until the gravity and radiation of our specific solar system trigger something inside. A reaction, a signal, a sequence, a pre-programmed function, the truth is, we have never seen anything quite like it. Even Borisov, which behaved more like a conventional comet, showed no signs of internal energy. A 3i divided by Atlas, on the other hand, seems to possess layers of materials unknown to Earth-based science. Compounds that respond in unexpected ways to sunlight and cosmic rays, spectroscopic analysis shows traces of exotic carbon chains and metals rarely seen in our own system. And there is something else, something even stranger. The European Space Agency released a brief statement suggesting that the heating might be linked to microwave emissions of unknown origin. In other words, 3i divided by Atlas is not just getting hotter, it is emitting faint signals in the microwave band detectable by sensitive instruments on Earth. Could it be natural radio noise? Possibly, but the emissions are repeating. Uh, they align with the same 36-minute heat pulse detected by NASA's instruments. It is synchronized, coordinated, and that is where the mystery deepens. Because in physics, coincidence is rare, but synchronicity is often a sign of design. If those signals are real and not an artifact of equipment or data noise, then we may be looking at something unprecedented a naturally occurring object with rhythmic energy cycles or an engineered one. For a moment, let's engage in a thought experiment. Suppose long ago, a civilization far older than ours designed objects like this, interstellar messengers powered by dormant systems that awaken near stars. Uh, perhaps they were meant to gather data, uh, to observe or to signal when they encountered life. Over eons, most would have decayed, frozen, gone silent. But one three I divided by Atlas survived. And now, by cosmic coincidence, it drifts through our home system, flaring like an ember, reignited after a billion years in the cold. Does that sound far-fetched? Perhaps. But remember, everything we now take for granted, 
from black holes to gravitational waves was once dismissed as impossible by the conservative scientific majority. And yet, here we are, watching as an object from beyond our solar system pulses with heat and rhythm to understand how truly remarkable this is, think about what heat means in space. In the cold vacuum, where temperatures plunge to hundreds of degrees below zero, heat is process. It is energy expenditure. It's motion, activity, something producing internal uh, regulated heat is, is something doing work. So when we say that 3i divided by atlas is heating up, what we are really saying is something is happening inside it, something alive with energy. NASA scientists are now racing against time. In the coming months, as 3i divided by atlas moves closer to the sun, it will become brighter and perhaps even more volatile. If this heat surge continues, we may see eruptions, jets of gas, or even fragmentation. Already, telescopes have spotted faint wisps trailing behind it, as though the surface is beginning to peel away. But whether that is simple outgassing or something more dramatic remains unknown. Some at the European Southern Observatory suspect that what we are seeing could be the breakdown of an entirely new kind of interstellar chemistry materials forged in the hearts of dying stars, reacting to sunlight for the first time in billions of years. If true, this could rewrite our understanding of how matter evolves between galaxies. It could show us what the building blocks of alien worlds look like. Others, however, uh, are uh, not so sure. A group of independent astronomers in Japan claims the temperature spikes are too uniform, too controlled, too precise. They propose that 3i divided by atlas may contain a metallic core, possibly hollow, with reflective properties that amplify heat. If so, its composition might be closer to an ancient probe than a natural rock. It is a provocative idea and it divides the scientific community sharply. On one side, those who cling to familiar natural explanations, even if the data does not fit. On the other, those like myself, who believe we must follow the evidence wherever it leads, even if it points to an artificial origin, this is not about pragmatists versus dreamers. It is about being a good scientist. It is about daring to wonder if we have just stumbled upon the ruins of something intelligent, drifting through time like a cosmic message in a bottle. But no matter which side you fall on, one truth remains. This is one of the most exciting discoveries of our lifetime. Because 3i divided by Atlas is not just a comet or an asteroid. It is a visitor, a traveler from another star, carrying with it the secrets of a place we have never seen. And now, as it passes through our solar system, it gives us a fleeting window, a chance to look back in time, to glimpse the raw materials of creation itself. As NASA's team prepares to monitor the object through the next few weeks, the world waits. Every telescope, every radar array, every curious mind is focused on this tiny glowing wanderer, wondering what it will do next. Will it burst apart like a cosmic firework? Will it quiet down and fade away? Or will it reveal something we never imagined possible? And maybe in that uncertainty lies the real beauty of this moment. Because discovery is not about having all the answers. It is about asking the right questions. It is about daring to wonder if 3i divided by Atlas continues to heat up, if it keeps pulsing, if its emissions strengthen, then this may mark a turning point, a moment when we realize that interstellar space is not empty and lifeless, but filled with stories, travelers, and echoes from long ago. The real lesson from 3i divided by Atlas is one of intellectual humility. For centuries, we have looked at the skies and assumed we understood the rules. But the universe is under no obligation to conform to our expectations. When data, like a rhythmic 36-minute heat pulse from an interstellar object, challenges our models, we have two choices. We can invent increasingly complex, unsupported theories to save the old model, or we can accept that we are seeing something genuinely new. The greatest barrier to discovery 
is often not a lack of evidence, but a lack of willingness to see what the evidence is truly telling us. So I ask you, do you believe three I divided by Atlas is simply a natural wonder or could it be something more? A relic from another world, a messenger from the stars. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And if you believe in following the data, wherever it leads, make sure to subscribe for more analysis that challenges the consensus.